Mr. Gomert, you're recognized for five minutes. Thank you. And I've been very pleased to hear some things made by our full committee chairman in this hearing, uh, like the statement just made or the question, because uh, I recall President Obama saying in the White House at a town hall meeting that uh, under his Obamacare pro uh, program, a woman who had gotten a um, pacemaker that had kept her alive for over a decade, uh, best thing would just give her a pain pill. Um, so I'm glad to know that he now believes the state should not prevent someone like that from getting the health care they need. Um, Ms. Oden, it's good to see you again. Um, I'm curious, you had shared in your testimony your birth mother's abortion was forced upon her. Um, have you heard of any other cases where potential birth mothers uh, or women that are um, talking about a potential abortion had to deal with pressure to get an abortion? Thank you for your question. It's correct. My biological mother, I now know, was forced to have this abortion. I didn't find that out until about six years ago now. My birth mother is now a huge part of my life. She's a great support to me. Um, but I face the reality every day of the fact that not only was my life supposed to end, but this is not something she wanted. And I know that she's not alone in that. There was a study done recently where 48% of women identified being coerced into their abortion. And again, I, I just want to thank all of the women for being here today. I know we have differing experiences and differing opinions, but I think we're all passionate about wanting to help and serve women. And for me personally, really one of the hardest things is that I receive emails on a regular basis from, from women who do exist in the shadows, not just other abortion survivors like me, but women who had abortions, regret them, and are living in pain. I have to respond to the emails of women who say, Melissa, can you help me obtain my medical records from my abortion? Can you help me find out if my child is living still today? That's an interesting place for someone like me to be in, but that is what I see in my experiences. Yeah. Well, thank you, and I appreciate your working through that with, with other individuals. Uh, Ms. Busy Phillips, because you're sitting beside Dr. Phillips, but um, would you agree that somebody who has survived an abortion like Melissa Oden has a right when she's born to life, to control over her body where someone else doesn't take her life? Um, well, first of all, I want to thank her for sharing her story. Um, I. You know, it is not, I, although I played a doctor on television, sir, I am actually not a physician. Um, uh, no, but you've was, given very compelling testimony, and I appreciate you've obviously given these issues a lot of thought. That's why correct, I was asking sir. you. Yeah, I think that it's something that's very important. I don't believe that um, a politician's place is to decide what's best for a woman and you know, it's a choice between a woman and her doctor. So I, um, I can't What about speak. a baby and the doctor? That's my question. Yes, sir. Well, I, um, again, I can't speak to her experience because I, I was not there. And so okay. I do not well, I just know. wondered how far uh, your feeling about that went because uh, once she's born, <clears throat> would you agree that she is a person in being? Yeah, I see. I'm not speaking about birth, sir. Okay, I'm speaking well, then, about abortion. Well, I appreciate that, but the concern here is we've got 21 states um, that allow the termination, uh, and we've heard the governor here in or yes, this across sir. the river in Virginia, but thank you. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I appreciate it. No, I just thank wanted you. to say, Mr. Gilmer, I, I appreciate that um, what you're trying to get at. Um, and I, well, and I, I wasn't trying know. to get at anything. No, no, no. I, you've answered my question. You, you weren't sure. Um, so my time, I only have a minute and a half. Um, I'd like to ask uh, Ms. Bennett, you've obviously done a great deal of study. Have you run in to others that you have personally talked to that were in situations like Ms. Oden? I have other friends who have survived an abortion. My friend Claire Colwell, she survived an abortion. Unfortunately, the reason that she survived was because the abortion took the life of her twin brother. And 
the doctor, the abortion doctor, didn't know that there was twins, and so he thought that he had done a successful abortion. And then later on, her mother realized that she was still pregnant, and Claire was inside of her because there was twins. And she was adopted, but when she was born, she had to be put in a, she was in a body cast, and her hip was dislocated, and and she suffered greatly because of that. And there's other abortion survivors. Josiah Presley is another one, and he's missing part of his arm because of the abortion procedure. And like Melissa said, there's others that are in the shadows. It takes a lot of courage to come out and to share a story like that. And so there's many more that we, we're not privileged to know their stories. Thank you. And I'm being very serious. I appreciate all of you being here because I know what it is to come and testify. And I wish there were a better way to make laws than so-called politicians to come together and uh, enforce their will through the laws. But unfortunately, it happens uh, every day. I wish it happened a whole lot less, but I appreciate y'all being here and your obvious concern about the issue. I yield back. Thank you, sir.